Evan Marshall, Speech 1. Many anti-feminists believe that America is a place where feminism is not needed because the rights of women are written into the law, making it illegal for discrimination to occur. Unlike other countries around the world, this, uh, unlike other countries around the world, this of course does not solve the problem of discrimination against women in America. Discrimination uh, against women still occurs even in the most professional of institutions and businesses. Uh, how can it be said that women have the same opportunities as men when almost all of America's governmental officials are men and an overwhelming majority of businesses are owned by men? How is it argued that feminism does not have purpose in America when the heart of the problem that, femini that feminism is trying to fight is institutionalized even by the government who wrote the laws forbidding it? While the argument that feminism is needed in many other countries much more than it is needed in America has some truth to it, the thought that feminism is useless in America and simply causes problems to arise, I find to be ridiculous. And the further belief that feminism is working against women by causing these topics to be talked about is all the more ridiculous. To consider feminism as unnecessary simply because of what is supposed to be is very naive and overall harmful to the rights of women in the U.S. As if, these problems, as if these problems are not talked about, they will never be resolved. Everyone in America is supposed to have the right to go out into the world and make what they want, but many women struggle for this opportunity because, of, because their rights are violated. These rights can be violated in many ways, both consciously and unconsciously. It does happen, and it does happen every day. Many women are robbed of opportunity for a career and leadership simply because their employers or business partners think that they cannot perform as well as a man in the workplace, or simply feel more comfortable with a man in the same position. Uh, using this same logic, men are also more likely to get pay increases for the same reason. This kind of small discrimination uh, that happens frequently causes a profound impact on how much money is made by women and their opportunities to prove that they can do their job just as well as their male counterparts. Uh, and this makes up a large part of the uh, in institutionalized discrimination that affects uh, every uh, uh, business. And uh, this is just one of the major talking points for many feminists as it is clearly shown in the statistics of how much women make for every dollar a man makes. The thought that women are simply not being paid the same as men because they can't do the job as well or because they then pick, uh, uh, they tend to pick careers that pay less is ignorant and short-sighted. Uh, uh, to basically uh, claim that all of the research and studies that have been conducted are simply wrong shows this. Uh, Anti-feminists also tend to talk about how uh, the women that call themselves feminists only do so for personal benefit and often abuse the social aspect of feeling oppressed. Taking uh, as many opportunities as possible to simply complain about the situation they're in. I think that this uh, view is not taking into account all the situations that people are in. Uh, many people may experience discrimination based on sex daily, even if you individually do not. To simply ignore the fact that not everyone is in a situation uh, where they have, uh, where they feel little to no effects of discrimination, and refuse the thought that anyone could be living a different, uh, could be living a different. Uh, lifestyle, uh, I feel is very short-sighted. Uh, it is also for this reason that anyone can be a feminist. It, it is in every American citizen's best interest to make sure that everyone has the same rights and opportunities, and that these uh, rights are enforced equally for every citizen. For this reason, I feel that it would not be unreasonable to say that anyone can be a feminist, and more importantly, anyone can act uh, advocate for equal rights and opportunities, even it's, if it's as small as simply saying something in a conversation. To conclude, I don't feel that there are any that there is any logical reason that someone 
could be able to say that feminism has no purpose or place in America, let alone the rest of the world.